Limits of Accuracy Examination Preparation Questions Part 2 In this video, we are going to continue with Limits of Accuracy and we will focus on Division and Subtraction Calculations. You will find this table in the textbook, Mathematics textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success, Grade 10, 11, Part 1 on page 28. But let me first just go through the calculation. I'm going to start with division because my, my first example starts with division. So what are the lower and the upper bounds of the division of the measurements 6 and 2, each correct to the nearest centimeter? Okay, so first I must, it's actually you can say 6 divided 2 is 3, but they can be a bigger or a smaller. Okay, and I'm going to try to find that. So first, take the numbers and find the upper, lower, upper, lower, and then start with the calculation. So if you first say, I'm going to take this upper, divide by this upper, no, it's going to give you 2.6. But if you take this upper and you divide it by this lower, then you are going to get, and there you can see, divide 1.5, 4.3, that's going to give you your biggest one. And if you take this <coughs> lower, and you divide it by this upper, do you see? You're going to get the smallest, and that's 2.2 there. So do you notice that it's overcross? It was not upper, upper, lower, lower. It was an upper combined with a lower, and it was a lower combined, and it's going to work over cross. Okay, if you want the smallest, you will say lower, you start with smallest, divide upper. And if you want the biggest one, you start with upper, the biggest, and you divide by the lower. I'll show you this arrow better in the examples. Okay, and now I'm going to focus on subtraction. It's exactly the same. It's 6 and 2. 6 and 2 is 4, but you can get a bigger or a smaller. Okay, again, first find the upper and the lower, and then start with the calculation again. If you say upper minus minus upper, it's not. It's going to just give you 4. But if you say upper minus this lower, it's going to give you 5, the biggest. And if you say lower, this lower, minus this upper, it's going to give you. So again, in subtraction, just like division, that's why I was putting it together. If you want the smallest one, the lower bound, you start with lower minus upper. And if you want the biggest one, the upper bound, you start with upper and you are just subtracting the lower. Okay, but let's look at an example. It's always easier if you see it in example. And this is a brilliant, very nice example. Okay, the distance between two towns is 600 kilometers. Correct to the nearest 10 kilometer. A car takes 8 hour 40 minutes correct to the nearest 10 minutes to travel this distance. Calculate the lower, this is very important, the lower bound for the average speed. Now, now if you think of the sum, just think this is coming out of my grade 9 textbook, DSTV. If you want to find speed, it's just distance divided by time. Okay, but now let's start with the sum. If this is correct to the nearest, so before I first must find the lower and the upper of the individual numbers before you do the calculation. Okay, so if it's to the nearest 10, like this one, I divide by 2, always by 2, I get 5, I add for upper, 5 I subtract for lower. To the nearest 10 again, but this is now just minutes, uh, again 5, add for the upper, subtract. Then I take the 600 and I find my upper and I find my lower. And I take my 8 hour 40 minutes. So remember it's 5 minutes. So I add my 5 and I add my lower. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger that you see better. Okay. Now I want the lower bound. You see the lower bound for speed. So if I want the lower bound, I start with the lower and I do the opposite one. I divide with this one's upper. So do you see what I was showing you there? Do you see this over cross movement whereby with multiplication and division it's a parallel to get the biggest or the smallest but to get this one the biggest or the smallest it's an over cross movement. 
So I just take my distance, this lower, because I want lower, and I divide by this one's upper, and it's 68 kilometers per hour. Oh, I forgot to show you. You cannot work with this 8 hour and 45 minutes. You have to convert it to the same unit. So you will take that 45, divide 60 plus the 8, and that's where I got the 8.75. So brilliant question. Make sure you do that conversion. And if I wanted to find, say, the biggest speed, then I would have taken this upper, divide by this lower. But that was not asked. Let's go to the questions. Okay, I want you to do, as we did in the, follow, in the part one, I want you to do number one. Stop the video, and then as soon as you are done, you can just check to see if you are correct. Okay, but I'm going to start. Number one. Loretta walks 31 kilometers at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. Both values are correct to the nearest whole number. Okay. Work out the upper bound, so the biggest, of the time taken. So you can actually, again, before you even start, you go to your DSTV. DSTV. TV. So if they are going to say time, so time is just going to be distance divided by speed. So that is the simple what you have in your mind. But before we do that, if it is correct to the nearest whole number, so correct to the nearest whole number. Now, whole number means to the nearest unit, 1. So, divide 2, so it's 0 0.5. And again, for your upper, you add 0 0.5. And for your lower, you subtract 0 0.5. Okay, so let's start. So, if it's 31, I get my upper bound. I get my lower bound. Okay, so for the upper bound, that 31, it's going to be 31.5 and my lower bound it's going to be 30.5 and then I do that same for the speed I can even write here um, distance and now I do for the speed that's 5 so I get my upper bound I get my lower bound so I'm going to get 5.5 and I'm going to get 4.5 okay and now, if I want to have time, and I want to find the upper bound, so don't forget, so it's the upper bound of time, so the biggest. And now, you're going to start with the upper. So if this is upper, you start with upper, and that's going to be of your distance, and you divide by the lower bound, and that is going to be of your speed. So it's going to be the upper Divide by the lower. And again, do you see the overcross movement, what I showed you? Not parallel, but overcross. So this is going to be now 31.5 divide 4.5. And that's going to be 7 hours. Okay. Okay. And that's how you do number one. And I love it if the example is, the answer is so exact. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. And you can again continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, I'm going to clean and then I'm going to start. Let's start with number two. At a football match, there are 29800 people, correct to the nearest 100. So this is the people and they are to the nearest 100. At the end of the football match, the people leave, so leave the stadium, at a rate of 400 people per minute, correct to the nearest 50. Okay, so let's start. So if it's correct to the nearest, I'm first going to just start write all this. Correct to nearest 100. So it's going to be 100 divide 2, and that's 50. Again, add for upper and subtract for lower. Okay. 
And if it's correct to the, uh, I just want to see, this is correct to the nearest 50 because I like to write the other two next to each other. Correct to nearest 50. Now always remember, you take that thing that stands after nearest and you always divide two. And I get 25. And I add for the upper and I subtract for the lower. Okay. Um, calculate the lower, okay, bound. Okay, now first the numbers. So what is my numbers? My numbers is now 29800. Zero, zero. First get your upper and get your lower. So this is going to be 29850. This one is going to be 29750. And then I do the same with 400. And I get my upper, and I get my lower, and my upper is going to be 425, my lower is going to be 375. Okay, now they ask, calculate, let's just say, the lower bound, so they want the smaller width for the number of minutes it takes for the people to leave. So it's basically just a division sum. So it's going to be, and they want the lower bound of this division, because you're just going to take the, the number of people divide by how many people leave per minute so that you can just find the minutes. Okay, so you're going to take that, okay, but let's just say, so you're going to take the lower bound of this people, people, oh, I don't want to write it, otherwise you're going to get confused. It's too long sentence. And you're going to divide by the upper. Remember, if you start with lower, start with lower, but go over cross. So you're going to take the lower bound and you divide it by the upper. Do you see the over cross? So you're going to take 29750 and you divide by 425. And you're going to get exactly 70 minutes. It's nice if it's so exact. Okay. And now, I love this question B, how it turns into another calculation. So look at question B. At the cricket match, there are this amount. Do you see this less? Correct to the nearest 100. So it's, it's again, you can even use that top again, but 100. Calculate the upper bound for the difference, there comes the subtraction, between the number of people at, I think the football, I just wrote there a mistake, at the football match and at the cricket. Okay, there should have been just at. Uh, the, that should have been just at. Okay, but again, if it's correct, to nearest 100, it's going to be 100 divide 2, and that's 50. Add for upper, subtract for lower. Upper, lower. So again, take your people, what is your people now? 27500. Zero, zero. And again, my upper, remember, always first find your upper and lowers. So my upper bound is going to be 27550. Five, my lower bound, 27450. Five, okay. And now I'm going to remember it's subtraction. So. So, and they want the what? Uh, the upper bound. So, the upper bound of this subtraction. It's always good if you write it. Then you start with upper and you subtract the lower. So, you go to the upper of this one, the biggest amount of people, and then you subtract this one. And it's actually also, if I write it next to each other, it was an over cross. So, I go to this one's upper. 29850, and I subtract this one's lower. 27450. And I'm getting, oh, sorry, I'm at the incorrect pin. And I'm getting an answer of 2400 people. It's really, just remember, 
division, subtraction, I work over cross. If I want the smallest possible answer, I start with smaller over cross. If I want the biggest, I start with the biggest, but I go for the, up the over cross one. Okay, and that's how you do it. Beautiful question. I want you to do the last one, and this will be the last one of my limits of accuracy. Um, that will be number three. Again, I want you to do the same. I want you to try it on your own, stop the video, and then check to see if you are correct. Okay, let's start with number three. The dressmaker measures a length of fabric at 600 meter, correct to the nearest five. So remember, it can be five, it's not always 10, one, or 100. It cuts this into dress lengths of nine meters, correct to the nearest meter. Calculate the largest, that means upper bound, of complete dress lengths he can cut. So it's a basically just a sum about what you say, 600 divide by 9, but now you just bring in the upper and the lowers. Okay, so let's start again. I say we, we start with correct. So this leads to, there's a correct to nearest 5 meters. Okay, always take that, divide always by 2, and I get 2.5. Add for the upper, subtract for the lower. And then if it's correct to the nearest meter to nearest meter now that means one meter so it's going to be one divided by two and it's going to be 0 0.5 and again add for upper subtract for lower okay now i just take that um so it's going to be 600 this is the one there okay so it's my upper bound, it's my lower bound. Okay, so my upper bound is going to be 602.5. My lower bound is going to be 597.5. Now I'm going to do with my 9, this is now referring to this one. I'm going to get my upper bound and I'm going to get my lower bound. So this is going to be 9.5, and this is going to be 8.5. I just add and subtract this 0 0.5. Okay. Now, so if I want to make that dress, I want to find the largest. So I want upper. It's a division, as I said. So I'm going to start, if it's upper, I start with upper, and I divide the opposite one, the lower one. So I start with upper and I divide this lower. Do you see the over cross movement? So it's going to be 602.5 divide, okay, we can even say divide 8.5, okay? And now, this is very important. Write the full calculator display. 235294, okay? Now, this is a practical sum. Now, in the previous one with the paint, if you can remember, I was rounding up because I needed to paint the whole thing. In this case, there is not enough material to make that 71th dress or that extra one if you pass 70. There's only, so in this case, I will round down. So there's not enough to make 71. There's just enough material to make 70 because the race is going to be less than nine meters. So you're not going to have a complete race. So therefore, I'm rounding down. I say 70 complete dress lengths. And I, and I was rounding down. And that is the way how you do it. Before I end this video, I want to show you the final uh, thing in my documents. I always say it's important because I always refer to my textbooks. Um, and I always think that's the basis uh, where you will find all the basic things. So if you don't have your own copy or you don't have a copy at school, then try your best to go to the following bookshops and try to buy your own copy. You can even resell it to other students next year.